Hi, welcome back to my developer channel. My name is Rikam. In today's video, I'm going to talk about upgrade options to HANA 2.0 database version. Little background to this topic. Um, within HANA 2.0, all the major developments and enhancements are provided in Access Advanced Server. So there is a general misconception that HANA 2.0 upgrade is a big activity for developers, but it is not completely true though, because having access advanced is not mandatory in HANA 2.0 version. So there are a couple of options customers can have, which are upgrading to HANA 2.0, but do not install access advanced. And also, uh, secondly, upgrade and install access A, and also migrate the content as well. Now let's talk about these options in a little detail. I also have a blog written on this topic. So it's a good reference for us to start with. So you can search for this blog on Google. Just type in uh, HANA 2.0 upgrade options, my name, and then you'll find this blog. Just go into this blog and see uh, the options in detail. Let's start. Okay, now we can see from this diagram that there are a couple of options available in upgrading from HANA 1.0 to 2.0. So the first option is uh, upgrade to HANA 2.0 could be the SP03 or 04 with no XSA. So it clearly states that uh, with this upgrade there will be no XSA installed on top of database server. So which means you're still going to continue with your Access Classic server which automatically comes up with your database installation or upgrade. And you also continue to work on HANA Studio with no changes. All the database artifacts are created in either HANA Studio or Eclipse tooling uh, which has been done in the past. So technically there is no change uh, after the upgrade to uh, HANA 2.0 SP03 with Classic. So the developers will not be doing a lot of tasks in terms of uh, pre-upgrade or post-upgrade uh, activities for this upgrade. So the administrator or basis person will take care of uh, upgrade and then we just need to perform some of the sanity checks in terms of uh, whether the, pre the previous objects are working fine in new database version or not. That's it. Okay, what we're going to get after upgrading to uh, 2.0 SP03 or 4 with no XSA. A little bit uh, database features will be coming through, but not many. Uh, as I said before, many of the features and developments are provided in XS Advanced. So we will not get all of those um, latest advanced features uh, in this option. This is a good use case for the people who run HANA database as a runtime version for S4 HANA, BW4 HANA. They just wanted to migrate the database to the new version, but do not in introduce a lot of changes in the database for any of the modeling purpose and, and, and etc., which are not required for uh, the use case when HANA is used as a runtime version. Okay. Okay, now let's move on to the next option, which is uh, moving to 2.0, SP03 or 4 with XSA. So in this option, there are two sub options which we can have. They are uh, install XSA, uh, but migrate the content slowly over a period of time, or install XSA and migrate the content at the same time. So we're going to talk about these two options and how they are going to be beneficial to us. Okay, let's talk about option 2.a. In this option, we are upgrading to HANA 2.0 and also installing Access Advanced Server. Uh, at the same time, Access Classic is also available there just because uh, it is not removed. Though it is deprecated in, in, in 2.0, uh, but it is not removed completely. So there is a time given by SAP for uh, removing the Access Classic uh, in one of the future releases. So until then, we still have Access Classic available uh, within uh, HANA 2.0 version always. So with that, uh, there will be no major change to your existing objects, even though you migrate and install XSA. So you still have the old objects, your repository of HANA, your database artifacts, your application development artifacts, all are going to work as they are before. So there's going to be little change in for the basis 
or administrator to install a web id for hana and getting the licenses for github and uh, and, and etc but they are not really uh, something as a prerequisites for the developers to get started with because the, the business continuity will happen with access classic and you also have access advanced installed with the new tooling and then you can continue to work on access classic with hana studio tooling uh, but uh, a separate team or the, the developers who have uh, uh, some uh, project work given they probably they can start working on the new tooling and slowly they can migrate the content from access classic to access advanced uh, uh, by phase by phase so this is a very good option for customers as well as developers for the reason uh, you got some room some time to get uh, Uh, adjusted with new tooling like web id for hana where all the objects are uh, designed uh, and then built and deployed to the sp- spaces so it's basically cloud foundry architectures we follow in uh, web id for hana there's so a lot of services created uh, and and references with dependencies and etc all these to- all these things together is going to be a little challenging task for the developers uh and also source control with github etc are all new to sap developers so it's going to take some time for the developers to get familiar with these topics so with this option we're giving some time for developers to move on to the new uh, tooling perspective and also new development guidelines as well at the same time you can still continue to do the existing support within access classic So considering all these features and the flexibility we have so option 2a is always a very good uh, suggestion for the clients okay let's move on to option 2b so in this option uh, we are going to have uh, access a install as well as the content will be migrated it to it at the same time so which is a little difficult task for the developers because um, the the during upgrade uh, the developers will prepare all the migration um uh, topics in detail to get migrated from access classic to access advanced which involves new tooling like web id for hana and also github source control and also uh, having organization and spaces creating uh, as a scaling uh, challenge for uh, basis team Uh, in getting all these objects to uh, the new cloud foundry architecture etc and the migration efforts will be uh, very large just because of the reason that the access classic content from the database artifact development tables views processes functions will be uh, taken to uh, uh, web id for hana design time artifacts and we also have db explorer as a runtime version to check these objects and a whole bunch of access related things will come in to picture just uh because the the access uh, accessing in access advanced is little different with synonyms and services and roles and grants all these topics are uh, really um um something new from uh, old version of hana 1.0 so with all these things at one time um uh, upgrade and migrate the content is is going to take a long time effort and also a lot of complexities involved in doing so so it is it's a business disruption to the customers because you are uh, migrating the existing content to a newer version which is not really user friendly for the many of the developers and 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 also the customers uh in the past uh though uh, sap offered migration tool for moving the repository content uh, like for example uh, design time artifacts in access classic uh, store processes functions and also calculation views um and also flow graphs as well you can migrate these objects from access classic to access advanced using a migration assistant tool uh, but it's not so easy to migrate all this content just there are Uh, some of the options which cannot be migrated easily even though with within migration assistant too and also there are some of the db artifacts which are not available as runtime objects sorry which are not available as design term artifacts and only exist as a runtime objects in schemas will have to be manually taken to web id for hana as a design term artifact 
So that's going to be a little challenging in uh, manually doing these tasks. So overall, it's a little complex task for the developers and it involves a lot of efforts to do. Finally, the conclusion is um, having XS Classic deprecated, uh, moving with XS Advanced in the future roadmap of SAP. So it's better to have it installed as, is, as we described in 2.8, 2A option and then slowly migrate the content from XS Classic to XS Advanced over a period of time. So that's a, a really good option to choose for many customers so that it's uh, not business disruptive and also uh, keeping the developers and users uh, to be in sync with SAP's roadmap of XS Advanced server capabilities and uh, developments. So that's it. I hope it's very helpful. Thank you very much for detailed training and more videos on these topics. You can reach me on my email ID, sorompalias at gmail.com. Thank you.